I just had this session today. Oh my goodness. I have to vent. Oh my goodness. So at some point in the session, the woman's lip twisted, right? She was like, I was like, ooh, she looks like a crackhead. I was like, come out, crack spirit. And she was like, <laughs> I could not believe it. She really had a crack demon, but she'd never been on crack. But her cousin, her cousin's on crack. So this crack demon, it was lying dormant inside of her. It's in the bloodline. See, y'all got a lot of stuff that's already in the bloodline lying dormant. And you got to get it out. You got to get delivered. If your cousin has it, if your uncle has it, if your, your little niece is showing it, if your aunties had it, if your grandmother was doing stuff, it's in the blood. It's already stamped inside of your DNA. You have kids, boom. Hey, crack gonna come after them or whatever's in your blood. It's coming. It's coming for you. Okay? So please get delivered. But oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> One more thing. This stuff is crazy. <laughs> and y'all can verify that this is real. So she was being fed tea in her dream. So in the one-on-one -on -one session, I said, what was in the tea? And she heard arsenic and codeine. Guess what? Her ancestors in the West Indies drank this tea with arsenic and codeine in it to abort babies. No lie. So, of course, she had Lilith. It was an abortion tea. Um, I know I told you about this and, and she'll probably like this post. <laughs> but she said there was a woman who used to line her daughters up to give them this, some, this drink. It was basically an abortion drink or a pill or something like that. And all the sisters, I can't remember how many of them it was. Let's say six. You can correct me. Six sisters out of, or seven. Only one of them like would put it on her tongue or, or pretend like she drank it, but she would never drink it. She spit it out. Do you know that one sister who was spitting that stuff out was the only one who was able to have children out of all those sisters? That woman sterilized her daughters. And do you know that's what the birth control industry is doing today? They're telling you, my body, my choice, okay? But then they take the choice away from you to have children by sterilizing you with the birth control. You don't know you're sterile until you're trying to have kids. Mm. People ain't getting pregnant. They're not slipping up and getting pregnant like they used to. No, no. So anyway, <laughs> there's more. But, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, one more, one more. So she had a spirit spouse named Phoebe. Phoebe was blocking her from having sex with her husband while she was ovulating. She wants children. But this demon would step in and block intimacy during ovulation. And you know, that's when you get pregnant, when you're ovulating. You got to have an egg, okay? And so it also, it, oh, it came in when her husband was seeing, uh, using the escort service. Okay. That being said, this demon came in and put a blocking mechanism on him to cause him to shoot blanks. They want children. You get it? And this spirit spouse is doing all of this. So I cast all that out. She's seeing a lot of progress. And I'll just stop there because this stuff goes on and on and on and on and on. If you're interested in the one-on-one, -on -one, the chances of getting one is slim to none. <laughs> But I might have an event where you can do, you can come and get something face to face. Okay. All right. Check me out at BreakingCurses101.com. Check out my links in the bio and the description, whatever. Ciao.